What you see here is a bunch of fungi, mushrooms, of course, in common terms. You know what I see? I see some potassium. I see vitamin D. I see beta-glucan. I see selenium. I see a couple hundred other compounds. Well, I don't literally see them, but I know that they're there because I'm familiar with the chemical analysis of these things. But the chemical analysis of this mushroom, the uh, chanterelle, would be dramatically different from the shiitake mushroom. Why are we talking about these kind of differences? Because there's a whole world of literature out there about potential benefits of fungi, of these kind of mushrooms. Some of it is, is really, really intriguing. For example, in Japan, they have found that when you have stomach cancer patients and you give them uh, extracts of shiitake mushroom, they stand up better to chemotherapy. Now, it's, it's not clear, you know, just how well those studies are done, but it's, it's really quite interesting. What we do know, though, is that these things are very rich in vitamin D, mushrooms are, and they're a good source of beta-glucan. Now, beta-glucan is, is a carbohydrate, but it has immune-boosting properties. So it, cer it certainly is, is interesting. But the one that there's a lot of talk about these days is the chaga mushroom. Now, I don't have any of that here, but uh, I can show you what it looks like. <clears throat> it grows on birch trees, and it has some interesting stories behind it. Anecdotes, essentially, that natives both in Asia and in North America have been using this for, for thousands of years to ward off disease. Well, of course, anecdotes don't uh, account for very much. We need some scientific evidence. And uh, the evidence that is there really does, does not allow for the claims that are being made. Uh, there are chaga teas out there, there are chaga pills, there is a ground up chaga, and the claim is that it will cure everything from heart disease to cancer and acne and anything else that you've ever heard of. So certainly there's a lot of interest in mushrooms and health benefits. There are many, many active compounds in there. You probably have heard of magic mushroom. A uh, magic mushroom contains psilocybin, uh, which can give you hallucinations if you eat enough of it. And then there's, of course, a Amananta muscaria, the classic red mushroom with the dots. Well, you take a bite out of that, and it will be the last bite you ever take. So we don't go out rummaging for mushrooms unless we have some expertise in that area. It's better to rummage in the supermarket. Now, as far as the chaga goes, uh, I, I think at this point we take those stories with, with a, a grain of salt, but we keep an eye on, on the research because it's very possible that there are compounds present in, in chaga, which when isolated and purified will have some benefit. But what we really need to do is stick to the science, stick to the peer-reviewed literature, and separate that from the uh, stuff that this guy provides.